The Fokker D-8 was the last fighter aircraft designed by Fokker Flugzeugwerke to arrive at the front lines before the end of the First World War. Originally, this aircraft was designated as the Eindecker 5 and began to arrive at frontline units in August of 1918. Unfortunately, there was a fatal flaw with the Eindecker 5, the wing. Wing failures killed two pilots on August 16th and August 19th, respectively. After these fatal incidents, the aircraft was grounded and an investigation began. Yasta 6 operated the aircraft for just over a week before it was recalled from service. There was an investigation and the wing issues were resolved. The cause seemed to have been poor construction and substandard materials used, not the design of the wing itself. After the issues with the wing were all sorted out, the aircraft earned a new designation, the Fokker D-8. Just around 85 D-8s would be fielded to frontline units before the end of the war on November 11th. This gave very little time for the aircraft to prove itself in combat. Overall, the aircraft was well liked by its pilots. Good visibility and rather easy to fly despite the rotary engine. The armament was standard for the time period, just two 7.92 machine guns firing through the propeller via synchronization gear. The Fokker D-8 is a rather unique monoplane design. Thanks to its unique shape, the British airmen who flew against it gave it the nickname the Flying Razor. Hello everybody, Wolfpack here, and welcome to the Fokker D-8. This is the second aircraft to release for Flying Circus Volume 2, and this is one of the planes I never really messed with all that much back in Rise of Flight. However, after flying it for a fair bit here and Flying Circus, it is certainly quite the capable aircraft. The monoplane design has a couple of advantages here. For one, visibility is fantastic especially as far as these World War I aircraft are concerned. The wing is also pretty sturdy. I've been chewed up uh, quite a lot, and the wing has held on and kept me alive and allowed me to get back home, which certainly is nice to have. The cockpit is fairly standard for your German aircraft. Everything's pretty much where you'd expect it to be, and uh, the armament is pretty standard at this point too. Two Spandaus with 500 rounds per gun. Speaking of those, let's go ahead and make sure those are ready to rock and roll. Today we are just doing a line patrol over the mud up ahead. No other aircraft in sight just yet, but it is a rather clear day, so I'm sure we will spot something. And if not, we'll go pop a balloon at the very least. I am flying this with Pat Wilson's campaign generator for Flying Circus, just in case any of you are curious. Of course, this plane did not see very much service during the Great War, which is one of the reasons I kind of steered clear from it uh, back in Rise of Flight. My interests really lay with, um, you know, more early war aircraft, but it is, it is pretty fun. It is pretty fun, I have to admit. Okay, we have come across some Sopwith Camels down here. By the looks of it, our flight leader is already engaging. And we will do the same. All right, we have a Camel here. Let's try to get him. And we missed, of course. That's fine. I just want to keep hitting our blip switch. We want to avoid over-revving this rotary engine here. And try to take out this Camel up ahead. Let's adjust our mixture. It seems like RPM's a little low. All right, here he is. Hello there. And check our guns. I'm aiming for the engine area here.
I think that may be it for our sock with camel friend. Indeed it is. There we go. Splash. All right, let's head back to the rest of the flight and see what else is going on. Okay, closing in. It looks like we have another camel. All right, got the camel lined up. And like I said, the camel can certainly outturn this thing, it seems. Just try to whip it around here. And I think that was a pilot kill. Yep, certainly was. There's another camel going down. There's number two. All right, jeez, look at all that flack out there. I think all the stuff in the area is causing a little bit of strain on my computer here. That's all right. Looks like we have two D8s here and another sop with camel. We've been fighting camels for most of this little career here. Camels and brisket seem to be what really are populating the sector. Okay, we'll move in on this sock with camel right here. Maybe we can uh, get another clean kill. We have just under 400 rounds of ammunition per gun. These little ammo counters are <laughs> fantastic to have. And here we go. Keep our eyes on the prize here. Aim for the engine area. And I'm not gonna be able to pull that, but slow and steady wins the race. Looking good, check our, okay. Thought I heard something there. That's another camel going down. Jeez, we are just ripping these camels up. Here's another one with the D8 on them. Come here, Mr. Stop with camel. And I think that's another camel going down. That blip switch, make sure we don't toast our engine. All right, what else do we have going on? Looks like those camels were taken care of and we still have plenty of ammo to do something else. What the hell's going on up here? Hmm, I can't really tell. Yeah, something's going down in flame. Well, I'm gonna follow this D8. Oh my gosh, we have something else back here. That is a camel shooting at one of our friends. Oh, it looks like we have two biplanes over here. Thankfully, the D8 is fairly easy to identify considering it only has one wing. Certainly sets it apart. Maybe we can go for an ace in a flight here on the tail of this Sopwith. Camel? Who do I have swinging around here? That's a camel. Well, let's avoid getting shot by him, shall we? The plane is tough, but I'd really rather not find out just how tough it is. Avoid that collision. My gosh. Got a haircut. And this camel is whipping it around. What I like to see. few more hits there and I think this camel may be trying to uh, get the hell out of here that was a hit hit the blip switch and he's down
Okay, some of these are definitely camels. And we have stuff up high as well. We need to watch as they drop down in their little fight. Where's the camel? There he is. And if we shoot this one, this will be our fifth victory for the day. An ace in a flight. And let's just avoid a collision. <laughs> there is no recovering from that. Although we do have a parachute, which is a nice feature. Being a nice perk, I suppose. Oh my gosh. About the, I was saying, as I was saying, that's a nice perk of being a German pilot at the end of the war. <laughs> Although they are a bit more reliable in game than they would have been in real life. Okay. There are fuckers everywhere. Okay, try to pull lead here. Not gonna happen, unfortunately. One thing I'm very worried about is accidentally colliding with one of my friendlies in the area. Hit his tail quite a bit there. We're on him though, sticking to him. Well, I'm not going to be able to pull that. Let's reverse this. This little camel's lasting longer than I thought he would. A few more hits there, nothing critical as far as I can tell. Check our guns, still hitting him in the wings, which is not really what we want. He is on the six of one of ours though. him up. That was a little desperate. I popped his fuel tank, however. And there we go. There goes his wings. Adios. I don't think I got credit for that one. That's another camel down. He went down quite fast, huh? After that fight, I decided it was probably a good idea to start making our way for home, despite the rather abundant amount of ammunition we had. We ended up landing, and I did get credit for that last camel, so that was five kills in one flight. I hope you all enjoyed this video. I do want to make more of these types of videos with the new aircraft that are coming out for Isle 2 Great Battles, like the Spitfire Mark 14, Typhoon, and also the Newport 28 that I mentioned earlier. I hope you all enjoyed this video, if you did, please be sure to leave a like and comment as it really does help out the channel. Let me know what aircraft you would like me to showcase next down in the comments below. Anyway, that is all I have for now, this is Wolfpack345 signing off, and I will see you all on the next one.